Abbey number of optical materials. In order to understand Abbey number of optical materials, first we need to understand the standard spectrum lines. You can see in this graph we have different colors and each line on this spectrum is a spectral line of a specific material. For example, you can see red colors, blue, blue colors, red ones are for hydrogen, we have green for sodium lamp. And for Abbey number, the three important spectral lines are capital C, capital F, and lowercase d. So these three standard lines are used for measuring uh, the Abbey number of each material. So in this graph, in this table, you can see, for example, for mercury, for ultraviolet is 365, for mercury H line is 404, mercury G line is 335, hydrogen F line is 486, and helium D line is 587, and hydrogen C line, capital C, is uh, 656. So in order to uh, calculate Abbe number, we have this equation. Sometimes we call it V number also. But when usually we use Abbe number, it means that we are working on uh, visual spectrum. So ND is the central wavelength, is a, is a refractiveness at central wavelength, which is 587 minus 1 divided by NF, which is the wavelength, uh, which is the refractiveness at 486 minus NC, which is a refractive index at 656. So this is the definition of Abbey number. But right now we need to talk about why Abbey number is important is and uh, Abbey number is representative of what. So let's say we have a material that uh, that is very dispersive. It means that the refractive index changes a lot by changing the wavelengths. So in that case, this denominator should be a big number. So when the denominator is, is a big number, V number should be a smaller. So for the material which are highly dispersive, and the Abbey number is less than 50, as I said, when the dispersion goes up, the Abbey number goes down. When the dispersion is high and the Abbey number is less than 50, we call them flint glasses. And for materials that has a higher, that has a lower dispersion, but higher Abbey number, higher than 50, we call them crown glasses. In this graph, this is the 50 line that we usually use for uh, having, you know, to separate these two kinds of uh, glass material, flints and crown. You can see for the material, that the Abbey number is less than 50, 50, 40, 30, 20, this side, which is less than 50, we call them flint glass. So on the right hand side, all materials are flint glass. And for the material with higher Abbey number, higher than 50, we call them crown glass on this side. So, you know, we, we can select different materials from this side, combine them with the other side, and the refractive index is showing in this graph. And all the refractive index is at the uh, ND refractive index, which is 587.6. So that's all the refractive index at ND and Abbey number. So by selecting a material with different refractive index or Abbey number, we can use it for, for example, making doublet to minimize uh, chromatic aberration. So at the end, uh, when we want to... Uh, select a material, we usually use two numbers. One of them is the refractive index at ND, especially in ZMAX, when you want to model an optical glass. We select refractive, we put the refractive index and Abbey number. So with these two numbers, which one of them is representative of roughly refractive index, I mean, ND is the refractive index, and the other one is a representative of how dispersive is the material. By putting these two, we can get a good model in ZMAX. Thank you very much.